because I'm sure we're all doing a lot of extra sitting. We've worked through this before standing a three part breath. So we're gonna put a gentle bend in the knees, right? Just easy knees. And we're gonna take the first third of our inhale, bring the arms forward up to shoulder height. Second third, we're gonna open those arms wide like wings. Third, top of that inhale up overhead. On your exhale, hinging from your hip, bowing forward, lay that torso on your thighs as you exhale. We'll come back to that standing with the easy knees. Inhale, first third. Inhale, second third, open up. Inhale to the top, overhead, exhale, fold it forward, let it go through the mouth. Inhale, standing easy knees. Inhale, first third, bring those arms forward. Inhale, second, third, out. Inhale, top, overhead. Exhale with a sigh through the mouth, fold it forward. Back to stand with easy knees. Last time, we're inhaling a third. Opening a third. Overhead, last third. Exhale, fold it forward. And then go ahead, find an easy seat. Could be hero's pose, could be cross-legged. If you've got book or block, could be setting those hips high, letting the knees fall a little lower than the hips, wherever you are comfortable. Let's go ahead and take those palms down on the thighs, little grounding action with those hands. I know we're all trying to find new rhythm to our strange lives. Finding a good rhythm of breath for you. As always, we're coming into that ujjayi breath. Inhale and exhale through the nose. And as you settle into that breathing through your nose, the eyes can close. Let's go ahead and take that inhale to a four count, lengthening the inhale. Little pause at the top and then get ready to count that exhale also for count out. Inhaling your four count. Exhaling in equanimity four counts out. Using your four count inhale at your pace. And matching it with a four count exhale. Let's take one more round. Maybe this time on the exhale, see if you can lengthen it one more count. Calming that body. Draw our hands to heart in Anjali Mudra. I know it's strange times, but so much to be thankful for. I know, especially today, right now, aside from being thankful for this community, I am grateful for the technology that can keep us in community so we don't have to feel so isolated in our homes. And Going ahead after setting your intention of gratitude, releasing those fingers down beside you. I'm on a block. I'm gonna go ahead and come off that block. If you're on blanket, books, block, maybe settle down onto the floor. We'll creep those fingertips out. Eyes can stay closed here or feel free to open them up. We're gonna take the chin, turn it over right shoulder and begin to gently Release that chin towards your shoulder. Eyes closed again, or if they're open, maybe a soft gaze at the fingertips. We'll inhale, chin back to center and take a turn over left shoulder. Releasing that chin gently down. And turning the head back to center. We're gonna work a lot through neck and shoulders today and through our hips, right? The places where we sit with lots of tension and when we're spending too much time on our devices. Let's draw those fingertips to shoulders. As you inhale, bring the elbows together in front, 
scoop them up and as far back behind as you can on the exhale inhale forward and up take them back one more time we're coming forward and up and back bring it to reverse take those elbows back bring them up squeeze them in forward to the back and up around and front one more time up and around and let's resettle those hands down taking right ear to right shoulder you all have been around long enough you know the drill it's just a heavy head here we're not straining the neck on your exhale release the chin forward let it hang heavy find a stretch in the back of your neck inhale rising chin to center and releasing left ear to left shoulder breathing into that stretch on the side of your neck exhale dropping the chin forward and inhaling top of head to the sky let's ground into right hand sweep left hand up and over side bend here how far can you go on that side bend bringing that top hand to opposite knee and taking your breath all the way here up in that upper back find some expansion and sitting up tall grounding left hand right hand sweeps up sweep it over how deep can you take your side bend exhaling top hand opposite knee using the breath to expand top of back and coming around to center we'll take a couple torso circles at your own pace little circles maybe big circles leading forward with the heart finding the arch in the back as you come around we'll reverse that just finding some easy movement before we get going and stilling the body i'm going to come on up onto tall knees here you are absolutely welcome to stay seated if you're comfortable there we're going to take those wings out turn palms up and draw the arms the elbows back take a look up inhaling expanding the heart on the exhale clap those hands together in front let's inhale open wide reach back exhale curving forward bringing those hands together one more time find it up and open let's bring the hands up overhead if you are not on tall knees let's come on up to those tall knees turn sideways here as we come into our tabletop wrists under shoulders knees under hips moving through a couple rounds of your cat cow breath the inhale belly drops take a gentle gaze forward on the exhale belly button draws to spine find a deep cat arch two more rounds at your own pace and when you are ready let's neutralize that spine that means our back's coming flat that tailbone is going towards the back of your mat take your gaze between the hands i may turn and look at you just to make sure you've got good sound top of head is going off towards the top of your mat let's take right toes curl them back stretch that leg long this should feel really good if you've been sitting a lot finding a stretch through the sole of the Foot, the back of the leg. It's a good time here to take a look sideways. See how I'm pushing up between the shoulder blades, really rounding here. Don't want to be sinking like this. Press up, be strong through those heels of your hands. Right toes, pick up, cross over, take a look over that left shoulder, back at that heel, at those toes. Right leg is gonna rise behind you, no higher than your hip. Toes are pointing down. Let's go ahead and take a balance challenge here if it feels good. Release that left hand forward, full bird dog. In your bird dog, again, you're staying strong in that supporting shoulder. Gaze stays towards your mat. Draw arm and leg out on the diagonal. Bring it back to center. Find that diagonal with those long limbs. 
bring it back to center. We'll bring elbow and knee together, crunch it in, curl it in, ladies. Inhale, reach, stretch, point those toes this time. Exhale, curl it in, reach it long on your inhale, release hand and knee. Left toes gonna curl back on the edge of your mat. Finding that stretch, feeling it through the sole of your foot, strong shoulder blades. Breathing here, stepping left toes up and over. Take a look over your shoulder. Back at that heel. Breathe into left ribs, left waist. Open up that side body. Drawing left heel up, no higher than the hip. Foot stays flexed, toes are down. Let's release that right hand forward. Catch your balance here, then open up, arm and leg on the diagonal. Might get some wobbles, it's all good. We're getting strong. Inhale, bring it to center. Inhale, out on your diagonal. Back to center and drawing elbow and knee together. Curl up into that little ball. As you inhale, find length, point the toes. Exhale, come into your little ball. Inhale, reach, lengthen, release hand, release foot, curling all 10 toes. Let's rise those hips, make your way to your down dog. Nice inverted V here. Let's alternate, bending those knees, reaching heels for the earth. Spreading fingers wide, remembering to ground through all the knuckles. Take the weight out of your wrists. If the wrists aren't having it today, can always come on down to forearms. Find that dolphin pose. Let's sink both heels and then rise up on tippy toe. Take a bend in both knees, maybe bottom rib cage touches those thighs. Inhale, straightening legs, rising hips, sinking those heels once again. Let's take a nice deep bend in that right knee. And we're gonna twist the right hip towards the mat. Once again, getting a side stretch here. Inhale, back to center, press both heels back. Then take the bend in the left knee, turn that left hip towards your mat, stretching right side of the body. Coming back to center, taking that right leg high, bend the knee, we'll open the hips here, finding three-legged dog. Can rotate the ankle, maybe finding tiny hip circles, just loosening up. Inhale, on the exhale, squaring the hips, drawing right knee to chest. We'll step forward with that right foot. Let's reach up, take a moment, catch your high crescent lunge. High crescent lunge, toes are like train tracks in parallel, and that back heel is lifted here. We'll take a knee dip down on your exhale, arms come down, knee comes down. Inhale, reach for the sky. One more time, let's dip it down and reach. Go ahead and hinge from those hips. And a nice flat back here, a little core strength in the back body. Release the hands down, release that back knee down. You can flatten top of the back foot. Reach up, easy low lunge here. As you can see, approximately 90 degrees, both legs. We'll spin left hand forward, right arm back. Take your gaze with that back hand, gentle twist. Inhale, reach into the sky. Exhale, reverse your twist. Inhaling to sky, and then we'll sink forward into the slow lunge. Maybe coming deeper. Again, you can always take those hands and fist in front to support. You can draw on that stack of books. Harry Potter's good, they're nice and thick. Maybe come on down to books or blocks with those forearms and just let the body sink here. Make that exhale, finding deepening. Let that head hang heavy right in front. Let's go ahead and take that walk with the right foot to the edge of your mat. Toes are turning out slightly. We're letting that right knee drop open. 
as you can see, so my foot has peeled up off the mat. We'll stay here with square shoulders or maybe support on that left hand or left forearm, taking right hand just gently inside that right knee, a little twist again in the torso. Staying right here, if you want something more, we can walk even further down the side of the mat, turn the toes directly perpendicular to the long side of your mat and settle onto left hip here. Deepens the stretch in the left side body. Come on back up, walking that foot forward, taking your time to get there. And we're gonna come on up, maybe resting both hands on that front knee. Take a deeper bend in your back knee. Little quad stretch. Releasing that back foot down and we'll draw the hips back and support here just with your fingers, with your knuckles. Again, if you've got blocks or books that you want to place under your hands, we'll draw front toes towards the sky. That front leg is extended, mostly long. No locking into any joints though, so don't force it. Half Hanuman or half split here. Maybe it feels good to rock back and forth once or twice and then sink deeper into that stretch. Drawing that front knee in, we're going to take that high knee position again, placing fingers behind your back. We'll draw those bow knuckles to the earth. We're rolling shoulder blades together here, opening the front heart, taking your gaze up. Nice camel, opening the front body. Inhale, on the exhale, let's release the bind of the hands, sweep them up overhead and forward. Finding your tabletop for a moment, curling toes, taking it to down dog. And left leg rises this time, find the bend in the knee, open the hips, can work through ankle joint or tiny hip circles here. Inhaling on your exhale, we'll tuck that left knee to chest this time, step left foot forward, rise up, find your High crescent lunge again, back heel is lifted, lifted butt pressing towards the earth. Nice bend in that front left knee. On your exhale, we'll bring it to a knee dip. Inhale, rise. Exhale, dip. Inhale, rise. Find the hinge from your hips. We'll fold it forward, flatten that back, work the back core strength. And then release the hands to frame the front foot. We'll drop that back knee, rise up, easy low lunge. This time, right hand comes forward first. Again, looking towards your back hand. Inhale, rising. Exhale, reversing your twist. Inhale, rise up, cartwheel forward, and sink into your version of low lunge here. Fisted hands, flat hands, maybe book or block under forearms. Maybe those forearms are coming all the way to the floor today. Exhaling, allowing the front of that right hip to get heavier with each exhale. Releasing head and neck straight down. This time, the left toes walk to the edge of the mat. Slight turnout on those toes. We can stay up on the right hand or forearm here. Let that left knee open. Left sole foot is peeling up. Keeping either shoulder square or taking that gentle rotation. Left hand inside left knee. Staying with your breath here. And we'll walk that left foot back into center and front. Back up those hips. 
straighten out left leg, pull the toes up towards your nose here. Again, using fingers, hands to support, maybe a book, maybe a block beside. Maybe it feels better to ease into this, a little light motion bending into that front knee and then straightening and then finding the deepening, sinking in. Go ahead and draw that front extended knee back and reach up to the sky on tall knees. Exhale, folding forward. Let's curl all those toes. We're gonna to walk hands back towards the feet here and find your rag doll. Again, always easy bend in the knees. Great, leave those hands dangling down. And find opposite elbow, top of head is down, right? Anytime the head is below the heart, we're taking an inversion. Inversions naturally calm your nervous system. So really great to add some inversion into your day, even when we're not together here in class. Exhale, release those hands down. Let's leave right fingertips either on a block, stack of books, or just hanging down. And we'll take a bend in that right knee. So right hand is down, right knee is bent. Left hand is gonna sweep up towards the sky. Another gentle twist. Exhale, bring that left hand down. Fingers can dangle, they can be grounded, they can find something to elevate them. Left knee bends this time, right hand. I'm gonna sweep high, open up the heart. Exhale, folding forward. Let's come on up to Ardha Uttanasana, half lift here. And exhale forward. We'll inhale, sweep hands to the sky. Take a couple more half sun salutations to get warmed up. Those hands are up above your head. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, sweeping hands up one more time. Let's bring those hands down in front, fold forward, release towards the floor with the hands. Inhale, that flat back monkey posture, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Fold forward, fold is Uttanasana in Sanskrit. Inhale, we'll sweep on up. And bring those hands to heart center. Let's take a big inhale. Reach the left hand down, right hand comes up and over side stretch. Inhale, sweep both hands to the sky, release the other hand down to your side, up and over side bend. Inhale, rise up, exhale, swan dive down, let those arms come up to the sides. Inhale, we'll come up half lift. Exhale, planting hands this time, stepping back on your mat. Find your good plank. Again, you're not sinking between those shoulder blades. Can be up on the feet here, can be on the knees, can bring it down to forearms, always options, wherever you're finding your strongest plank. There. Breathing here, pulling that belly button to spine. Core strengthening again. If we're doing a lot of sitting, our core is probably not working as much as usual. Go out, take some walks. Anytime we're upright, our core is working to balance us. If you're not on your knees, let's everybody drop there. And we'll take three little baby push ups, preparing for chaturanga. Tuck those elbows in, skim your sides. No need to come down even more than a couple of inches if that's what feels good today. And on our last time through, let's go ahead, hover, then release to the belly. We'll press on up to a low cobra here. In the low cobra, front of hips are sinking. Maybe even the bottom of that rib cage touching. 